So lawmakers are tackling the controversial issue of medical marijuana, considering several bills to regulate the drug. Fox 31 Tammy Hill is at a dispensary this morning in Denver with this story. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Peggy. We are seeing medical marijuana dispensaries pop up virtually on every block, and lawmakers say that is the problem. Yesterday, they introduced a second medical marijuana bill that is 45 pages long. These are the highlights. One, it would require a timeout for new dispensaries until July 2011. Two, it would turn dispensaries into nonprofits instead of the for-profit businesses they are now, which would make them health centers that cities could ban if they so chose to do. Also, it would ban on-site smoking of medical marijuana and would re require criminal background checks for owners and employees. No felon could get a license. Now, disp dispensary owners worry these regulations could put them out of business. Lawmakers say that is not necessarily true. Many people can still make a very good living working within a Colorado nonprofit corporation. No, they will not be able to produce equity. No, they'll not be able to turn into publicly held companies. Yes, they will be able to reinvest those dollars back into the patients to make sure the medical marijuana is affordable as possible. Today, the public can speak out on the first medical marijuana bill at the state capitol at 1.30. That bill would require patients get full physical examinations, and for those under 21, they would have to get recommendations from two doctors instead of one. Also, a medical marijuana advocacy group will be filing, will be submitting a state, statewide ballot initiative so they can bring this issue to the voters in November. They don't want to leave this issue solely to the voters because they're not so sure they have just their best interests in mind. Sure. Now, okay. Tammy, there is a big difference between, say, a small dispensary and, say, a marijuana superstore, as they're being called. Would they be treated differently? Yeah, they would be, Peggy. The small dispensaries would have the full protection of the Constitution, and they wouldn't have to get a license, but they could only treat up to five patients. The bigger ones, like the dispensary behind me called Cannabis Medical, that one would not have the legal protections of the smaller ones, so they could be banned by cities and counties. All right, a lot of implications, and especially for some folks that have probably already paid the, uh, the money to go ahead and open up their dispensary. To be continued, we'll check back in with you as further details emerge. Thank you so much, Tammy Vigil, this morning.